Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, let's talk about uh, transitioning. Let's talk about how we can transition from winter to spring. What patterns can we use to transition? Sometimes it's a very drastic transition depending on where you are. Where I'm living at in the, in the, in the States, um, we usually have a drastic transition. So we go from winter to spring quite quickly um, where there's snow on the ground to where there's uh, flowers blooming. So I want to go ahead and talk a little bit about transitioning and what we can use, what kind of transitional pieces we can actually use to sew during this time. So let's first start with the Vogue V1890. So this is a pattern that came out last year and I wasn't able to make it. I hope that I can make it this spring. This is a really beautiful pattern. I absolutely love the pattern. It's rated as easy and it is a flared skirt that have a contoured waistband with a button front closure as well as a zipper, a, a fly zipper as well. You have front pockets and front and back unpressed pleats, a narrow hem, and you also have uh, length variations. So I absolutely love the cut of the skirt. It does require quite a bit of fabric. However, I think that it, it will be a beautiful, beautiful piece that you can transition. As you can see, you have two different lengths here. You have a short length that is right at the knee, and then you have a midi length or a maxi length. So I really like this, and I think this would be really nice as a transition piece. Now it just depends on what type of fabric you choose. Um, you can choose something from like your really drapey nice fabrics. As you can see, um, the models are wearing something that's similar to a viscose fabric, but you can also use something um, a little bit heavier in weight. You could probably use like a linen or some type of cotton sateen or something like that if you want a little bit more weighted uh, fabric. It just depends on what time, you know, where you're at in your uh, transitioning, like if you are experiencing still some um, cold temperatures or you are experiencing uh, warmer temperatures, I would go with a viscose myself. Like I said, we are about to start warming up here, to, here pretty soon. So I probably go with a viscose myself. I really like this and I think that um, this would be a really great transitional piece. Next, I would like to see someone make the M 8364. I've been dying to see um, someone in the community make this. You have sleeve lengths. So this can be a summer, winter, fall pattern because you have different sleeve lengths and options here. So I really like that. I think view uh, D or let's see here, view D will be really great for your early spring and your late winter months. And then view B, maybe late spring and um, summer. And then again, you have your sleeveless option as well for summer. So I really like this and I think it would be very fun and easy to sew. And it's definitely something that I am considering making this year. From the Vogue recent collection, the Vogue V1937, you have a dress and a tunic by Sandra Betzina. I absolutely love this dress and I think it would be so fun for late spring and summer. So it is a short um, sleeve. You have a really short dolman sleeve there with a band on the edge of the sleeve. I love this dress. It's very simple and I think it's going to be easy to make. It's figure flattering for all body types and so I really like this and I think that it would be really great for transitioning into spring. Next, the Simplicity S9702. Again, you have different sleeve lengths here and so when you're looking at, um, you know, transitional pieces, right? You want to look at layers. You want to look at, you know, uh, tops and, and dresses that have uh, length variations to them. So sleeve length variations as well as skirt length variations or uh, pant leg variations. That way you can actually transition, um, you know, to your needs to accommodate your needs and the area that you are in. So I love that you have different sleeve lengths here. You have for view uh, C, there's a shorter length that have elastic on the edge of the sleeve there. And then for views A and B, you have a little bit of a longer length, which is really nice as well. So I really like that dress. I have that on my, my list of things for this year. I hope I can get to that. Uh, next is the Simplicity S9708. So this is an easy to sew button front shirt. 
you can do so much with these button front shirts. I think um, a crop top will be really cute. Uh, you can even uh, shorten the sleeve if you want. You can roll the sleeve up and put a tab on your sleeve so that you can um, have your sleeve rolled up. It'll be just so fun to like dress this up, dress it down. You could do so many different things. And Brittany of Brittany J. Jones, she actually did a tutorial for this. And so if I could find the link, I'll put it in the description box below. But you do have a tutorial there available for you if this is something that you want to sew, but you're it looks intimidating for you. There is a sewing tutorial for this and you can actually follow the sewing tutorial to do this. So I'm really glad that they came out with this pattern for the spring. This is there for those of you who don't have any shirt dresses in your stash. I think this would be a really fun pattern for transitioning. I really like the fact that you can actually choose different types of fabric. So on the model here, they're showing like a, a satin type fabric or charmeuse type fabric, but you could also choose cotton lawns or any type of cotton fabric, chambray, things of that nature. You could probably even use um, a uh, organza or something like that as well. So it just depends on, again, where you are in the world, uh, what kind of fabric you actually want to use with and you feel comfortable sewing with. Um, those lighter weight fabrics are going to be helpful for those of you who are entering into the later spring or the early summer. So I really like this pattern and I think that that would be really great for transitioning as well. So next we have the Simplicity S9714. Now this is a Mimi G pattern. So you get shorts and pants in here. And so I really like that because you can make the shorts for late late spring and uh, summer, and then you can make the pants for early spring. So I really like the fact that you have both of these in here. And then also you have a jacket as well. So if you want to make the jacket as well, that would be really great for us, for those of us who are uh, in parts of the world where we still are needing some type of a layer. Um, and that will really help for keeping, you know, warm. So I really like this. And I think that that is a good transitional piece as well. Speaking of layers, the Simplicity S9747 duster would be really great, a really great layer as well. Um, again, not too many people over on Instagram, on my Instagram polls really like this pattern, but I really can see this as being a really great transitional piece that you can actually add to your wardrobe. You can dress it up, dress it down. You can change the silhouette. If you're not too happy about the silhouette, you could change the silhouette of it a little bit. I do like this and I feel like it will be really great as a transitional piece. You could wear it with jeans. You could wear it with a skirt, a pencil skirt. You could wear it with a bodycon dress underneath. I think that this is a really great piece. If you're looking for pants, this Mimi G pattern here, this came out in the um, spring collection for Simplicity. She also has like a racerback top that comes with it as well, this knit racerback top. So again, for those of you who are in the later end of spring heading into summer, this would be really great for you. But you also have these cargo pants as well. And if you use like a really lightweight uh, linen or some type of, um, you know, light to medium weight fabric, chambray, you definitely can wear this in the spring and the summer. I absolutely love these pants and I think that they would be really fun to make um, with lightweight fabric. So again, that might be a really great pattern for you in terms of transitioning. For transitioning for men is the Norris Dr. Ford pattern that came out in Simplicity's collection, the spring collection. This pattern will be really fun for men as well. Going back to my original statement, what I said about the Mimi G pattern, um, if you use a light to medium weight fabric, such as a linen or a chambray or something like that, that will help you um, uh, transition into the spring and the summer because, you know, the linen anyway is going to help you be to uh, feel a little bit more cool cooler because linen is breathable and so i would definitely say this would be really perfect for men and for those individuals who like this type of style i really think this would be a really great transitional piece now although he doesn't have pants that come with this i'm sure it would be so easy to lengthen these because these are longer shorts and they are um, like right at the knee or a little bit below the knee, depending on how tall you are. And so it would be really easy to lengthen that pattern. And then you also have um, a short sleeve top and you have a long sleeve top as well. So you don't have to do any alterations for the top and you can make a short sleeve or a long sleeve. And then you can use either one of those um, depending on how you're transitioning into um, or what garments you're using to transition into the spring.
So I really like all of these patterns. I think that they will be fun as transitional pieces. Let me know in the comment section below what patterns you are using to transition into the spring. Make sure you leave the number and name of those patterns. I can't wait to see what you all leave for me. And I hope that you all have a happy and blessed sewing week. And I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye.